Hello, welcome to Sonography Radiology Training Channel. This series of videos is about placental imaging. This is the 11th video in this video series with title of Placenta Accreta Part 3. In video part 1, these items and all ultrasound findings of placenta accreta spectrum, both grayscale and Doppler ultrasound findings were explained. In video part 2, technical points and pitfalls in diagnosis of placenta accreta spectrum were explained also. In this video, a novel sonographic sign will be explained, famous as separation sign, which could help us to rule out PAS in normal placentation. Prenatal diagnosis of placenta accreta spectrum is crucial to reduce maternal morbidity and mortality. However, there is a danger of iatrogenic harm following a false positive diagnosis, like colon perforation, midline abdominal incision, fundal uterine incision, and caesarean hysterectomy are otherwise seldom performed in routine obstetrics, and there is a high rate of procedure-related complication associated with interventional radiology which is commonly employed when PAS is suspected. Moreover, the antenatal diagnosis of PAS and subsequent maternal anxiety have been associated with an increased risk of post-traumatic stress syndrome. Furthermore, several studies detected classic markers of PAS in high and low-risk patients who subsequently had normal placental delivery. As explained, pitfalls in video part 2. This highlights the need for robust signs of normal placentation in women at risk of PAS to prevent potential overdiagnosis. The separation sign is a novel ultrasound marker. This paper was published in 2022 and showed that separation sign as a novel ultrasound sign for ruling out diagnosis of placenta accreta spectrum. The separation sign should be evaluated in high-risk women as those who had placenta previa or an anterior low-lying placenta in addition to at least one previous caesarean delivery. Relevant obstetric and personal history should be obtained and a detailed transabdominal sonographic examination of placenta should be performed, assessing standard ultrasound markers of PAS described previously in video part 1. To assess for separation sign, pressure is applied using an ultrasound probe so that the hypoechoic retroplacental clear zone normally observed between the placenta and myometrium disappeared, as you can see in this clip. The pressure is then rapidly released in order to generate the force required to see movement. On release in cases with normal placentation, the non-elastic placenta keeps moving away from the probe after a highly elastic myometrium has snapped back into place. This sometimes causes the placenta either to keep moving briefly or even to bounce and lead to the appearance or enhancement of the clear zone. The separation sign is recorded as positive if separation of the myometrium from the placenta is observed in all areas of the placenta. In contrast, with a negative separation sign, no separate movement of placenta from the myometrium can be seen, as you can see in this clip. In the other hand, this sign is recorded as negative if the myometrium and placenta moved as one structure and no clear zone could be seen over any part of the placenta after release, even if separation is noted at the margins of the placenta. The uncertain separation sign occurred most often when the images obtained are suboptimal, for example, owning to tissue attenuation, high body mass index, or significant significant scarring. A positive separation sign in the prediction of normal placental separation has a sensitivity about 98%, a specificity about 100%, positive predictive value 100%, and negative predictive value about 87%. But there is a question, how separation sign can addressing us to a diagnostic cap in PAS diagnosis? 
As I explained in video part 1, the pathogenesis of PAS is not well understood but it's out to be due to a defect in trophoblastic function leading to abnormal attachment or inadequate decidualization of the myometrium in the area of the scar. Because of this matter, the difference between the inherent elasticity of the placenta and myometrium is not observed in placenta accreta, as you can see in this clip. Rolling out PAS on the basis of observable relative elasticity has the advantage over many other ultrasound markers of PAS because with these findings an abnormal result is present only in pathological circumstances. Many of other signs of PAS are present in variation of normal presentation or can be missed owing to poor scanning technique as were explained in video part 2. The separation sign has considerable potential to be used as a binary sign to rule out PAS, particularly in high-risk cases in which there is a danger of missing PAS but also a significant possibility of iatrogenic harm. As a rule-out sign, the separation sign predicts normal placental separation with a positive predictive value of 100% and negative predictive value of 87 in all cases and also a positive predictive value of 100% and negative predictive value of 89% in high-risk cases. Finally, the authors of this paper recommend using the separation sign alongside other ultrasound markers of PAS outlined in the ICU consensus statement for reporting ultrasound assessment of abnormally invasive placenta. Now, I suggest two others of my videos that are close to this video in terms of matter. And thank you for your attention.